Osteoporosis, also known as brittle bone disease, is a growing concern for women as they grow older, although men also get weaker bones as they age too. Now, in addition to supplements like vitamin D and calcium and also resistance exercise, what else might help bones grow stronger? Lysine is one of the essential amino acids and it's found in a variety of foods such as these you'll see here. And you'll notice that non-vegan foods such as steak have some of the highest amounts of lysine while fruits and vegetables tend to have lower levels. Okay, so what's the evidence for lysine helping keep bones stronger? Well, there's research suggesting that lysine is needed for the development of baby bone cells called osteoblasts. Osteoblasts grow up to mature bone cells called osteocytes. Okay, that's interesting. And as far back as the 1960s, people were wondering if the amino acid lysine might improve calcium absorption and be a tool to build stronger bones. This report you're looking at only had three people and it noted that lysine did not do much for calcium absorption. However, three people is not very much and so I tend to discount it. So what else do we have? We have this paper from the early 1990s with an intriguing title, Lysine Supplementation, a promising nutritional tool for the prevention and treatment of osteoporosis, but cool title notwithstanding, I don't think this is a clinical study because if you look at the top of it, you see it's only one page long. That makes me think it's more of an opinion piece rather than an original scientific investigation. In this paper, the authors discuss two different lysine calcium studies. In one of the investigations, calcium was given alongside 400 milligrams of lysine to 15 healthy women and 15 women who had osteoporosis. What's interesting here is that in both the healthy women and those who had osteoporosis, lysine promoted a rise in calcium absorption. Now, that's good, but calcium excretion, in other words, the loss of calcium from the body, was only reduced in the healthy women who used lysine. Now, that's too bad because it means that if lysine really was a bone-building nutrient, it might only help healthy women hold onto their calcium better. Now, to cast doubt on this finding is this second investigation where 800 milligrams of lysine was shown to not only improve calcium absorption, but also the retention of calcium in women who had osteoporosis. So what does all this mean? Well, to me it means that despite the claims that lysine might prevent or reverse osteoporosis, the research is not to the level that I would like. While lysine appears to play a role in bone development, I would not say it's a more effective bone builder than eating well and performing sensible resistance training exercise. Bottom line here, don't put all your eggs in the lysine basket. Until next time, I'm Joe from supplementclarity.com. Take care.